be or not to be? That is the question. Would it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings, arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles by opposing and them? To die, to sleep, no more. I asleep to say we end the heartache of a thousand natural shocks the flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. I, I, there's the rug. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There is the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the scorns and whips of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, insolence of office, the spurns, the patient merit the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietest make the bare bodkin? Dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will, makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, Thus, the native hue of resolution is sickly dour with a pale cast of thought, and enterprises of great pitch and moment. With this regard, their currents turn awry and lose their name of action.